Hi, I'm Bran, and I love The Way Home. I'm Ryan, and I like The Way Home. I'm Dan, and I despise The Way Home, and this is the Deck the Hallmark Podcast! Deck the Hallmark, it's this podcast. Brandon and friends host this podcast. We hope you like this jolly podcast. Ba, 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 ba. Oh boy. Hello, everybody. How are you? Hope you're well. Another Wednesday, another journey into the time traveling pond that is the way home. Uh, Ryan, it's great to have you back with us, buddy. Hello, uh, Jen. Super stoked to be here, but I got to be honest, I'm a little bummed out. What do you mean? Why are you bummed out? I really, really wanted the decky. I really wanted it. <laughs> I, I really want. I'm never. I'm not going to be eligible again for that. I really wanted the decky. Yeah, I really wanted it. Yeah, I, now uh, that you're a host of the show, you are no longer eligible for a decky. That is actually the rule. I, I haven't read you the text he sent me after the deckies. Yeah. He was fuming. But that, I mean, that was some tough competition. Tough Ryan. competition. I, I'm not saying I des- I was a layup for the deck year. I deserved it. Yeah. Just that I really wanted it, and it's been it's been a tough uh, six days now. Really, the, difficult the guy you lost to different. has like a million social media followers and was the monster in Shape of Water. Like, yeah. it's hard. To, like, come on. I mean, you're you're losing to the best. You of can't the best. be upset about losing to Doug Jones. Yeah. I, I'm not upset about losing Doug Jones. I'm just upset. And I yeah. was getting a little more support from my friends, but no, I understand. I <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, yeah, it's yeah. tough. It's yeah. tough. I'm mad for you. you. I'm mad for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, tough. Yeah, well, I mean, we might be able to uh, to send you a decky. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> well, let's talk offline. <laughs> <laughs> Surely you've won lots of awards in your in your career. I've presented at award shows like WWE award shows. You know, I've what do they give awards? What do they give awards? Best, yeah, best suplex of the year. It's called a slammy. <laughs> what no, in the world is there's that? There's also on my show. On my show, we have the bumpies. Uh, you know, so the yeah, it's, bumpies. The bump- that sounds dirty. <laughs> no, 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 it's like, <laughs> that it's, sounds like yeah, an STD, Ryan. No, you, you I got the bumpies. The, yeah, guys, 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 you took the prefix of deck the hallmark and added ies. We took <laughs> the prefix of bump, which is the whole word, and added ies. That's I mean, right. Like, there's like, nothing you could do about that. Yeah. <laughs> That's out of your out of your control. But I will the, the say, slammies. I, feel, I feel better about the deckies. The slammies that wasn't trademarked about by the, uh, about the bumpies. Yeah, the sla- <laughs> slammies wasn't trademarked by uh, Denny's, huh? When they- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, we might have to review that paperwork for episode four. Uh, oh boy, they yeah. give one award at the end called the Grand Slammy. <laughs> <laughs> the boots over my Slammy award. It's great. <laughs> It's great. Holy. I love it. Oh, um, has anyone what like? But for real, what are those awards like? Oh, you know, you know, uh, superstar of the year, match of the year, rivalry of the year. I could go on and on. Like, there's a bunch. There's of a course. bunch. Yeah, <laughs> and then we have some fun like you guys have. Uh, no, I didn't win intern of the year when I was an intern at WWE either, though. So that ship has finally sailed. Wow. Unless I'm like whatever that Robert De Niro and Hathaway movie is. Maybe I get intern of the year. Later yeah, in life, but, yeah, yeah. I believe it's called the intern. Um, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> what am I looking for here? What's it called? <laughs> Raging Bull. No. <laughs> Bad grandpa. No, 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 mean streets. No. <laughs> I I like that. I like that. Ryan went from uh, covering the Royal Rumble. That's right. Directly into the way home. That's right. Literally, uh, like, like actually, that's not even remotely hyperbolic. Literally, that was my weekend, and I couldn't be happier. Genuinely, so it's a great happy. weekend. That's a good. Yeah. Weekend. It's a great weekend. It's a one-two punch yeah. right there. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right. Give I you a know. slammy, Dan. <laughs> Give you a slammy for that one. Yeah. Uh, we are talking about the way home, which it's just can dawning on us. I do want a guest on the bump now, just so I can be eligible for a bumpy. Uh, sorry, go ahead. I'll make some calls. All right, all right do what you can. I, I don't know why we would we would be brought on to. I didn't say we. I would like to be on the bump. <laughs> but I at least like still follow to a degree <laughs> wrestling. That's where, that's where I was going in my head, Bran. Like, yeah, let's bring on the non That's right. We can talk, we can talk 1995 was. to 1997 <laughs> wrestling, and I'm there for it. Be a big hit. I mean, only one of us torrented WrestleMania and brought it brought it to Costa, Costa Rica, Rica for us to right. watch, Dan. That's right. That's right. That one yeah. of us is me. I didn't say it made sense. I said I want a I want a bumpy. That's what I want. Yeah. We can work something out. I can I can fix the voting. Does me saying that I torrented WrestleMania in 2014 <laughs> does that null and void my uh, bumpy? I mean, we might have to edit some of this out. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. 
I was just a kid. I was a kid. I was a kid. Uh, I would never. Never today. No, I would no, never. No, 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 no. No, no, no. The way home, uh, we're, we're just now, Dan and I, we're just putting together that the title of the episode is our songs. song. This one is I Don't Want to Miss a Thing. That's right. Last week was the uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, Star Tissue. Rip Juice on. Yeah. The first one is Mothers and Daughters, which I don't which I don't know that song. But the next week's is Blink-182, What's My Age Again? So, oh, well, that feels like it really fits. They're all from right around that time, like Scar Tissue, 1999, uh, Don't Want to Miss a Thing, 1998, uh, What's My Age Again, 1999. They're all yeah. from that wheelhouse there. The, what a smart show. The golden age yeah. of music. Uh, I don't want to miss a thing. Uh, season one, episode three. Uh, gosh, that song rules. We were actually just talking, we were about, talking this about this song and how and I how, thought it was a cover. Right, which is weird. When I was in middle, whenever it came out, it came out and I was thought 15, it was a cover. I was like, this is not an original Aerosmith. Like, this is a cover. This is a deep cut. That's from, right. Yeah. But, but like at the Netflix, end, when he yeah. goes crazy on it, like when he goes yeah. really high on that last, I don't want to fall asleep, it's like, <laughs> I don't want to fall. Yeah. 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 That's, that's yeah. tough, man. It's on my list of karaoke tracks now for the future, just Whoa. to give it a shot. Just to give it a shot. Oh. Uh, season one, episode three, originally aired on uh, January 29th. I don't know why I'm saying it. Why like- are you so surprised? <laughs> it was two days ago. Whoa, whoa, the 29th. Snuck up on me. Uh, a hot second here. Yeah. And, it, and it went a little something like this. Uh, Cat wakes up and is bothered by the fact that Alice is very happy. A little too happy. What's going on here? Suddenly, a couple people come in from out of town. They said, hey, Del, we hear around town that you're thinking about selling the boat. Uh, that is uh, That then sends Del into a staring match with the sky. Uh, Alice goes to time travel, hangs out with her mom, listening to Britney Spears. Elliot is showing them the beauty of AOL Instant Messenger, which I mean, I think we can all get on board with. A wonderful time, the gold, the golden age. That's right. I mean, you were like ten. Oh, I loved AOL Instant Messenger, man. Go in there. I'd, 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 I'd go on AOL and I'd play pool. Ask people ASL. Hope American that- Sign Language. <laughs> <laughs> if they uh, if they answered that they were What's ASL Sarah? age sex location, <laughs> a ten year old brain is asking people age sex location. Yeah, Sarah? dude, shooters gotta shoot. <laughs> if the if the person would respond with M, out of there. If the person would respond with over eighteen, out of there. Wouldn't ten year old brain? The shooter shot. <laughs> Shoot his pull shot. Literal. Hold on, that was there. You took it from me. Darn. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> you uh, you did it too, right? Right. I mean, I, I don't know about the ASL of it all. I never <laughs> once asked anyone ASL. What? And I was 15, 16. I was in the prime of instant messenger. <laughs> I left an away message in my day. But yeah. yeah. A- ASMR. No, I wasn't doing that. No. American <laughs> Sign Language? Question mark. <laughs> Uh, yes, I do know it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all right, I can talk to you. Good, good, good. Uh, I guess it's just me. Guys, if you... Uh, if, if you were out there and were 10 in 1999, you were 7, by the way. You weren't even 10. Yeah. And yeah. you were asking people their age, sex, and location. I wasn't ASLing people until I was like in middle school, but yeah. Why weren't you just texting them? <laughs> because they didn't have it, have it then. Yeah, they did. When I was in middle school? 14 years yeah. old, it was 2006. In middle school, I'm 11, Joker. Jo- okay. Tail end of our middle school career. Tail, tail end. Tail we're, end. Brent, we're about the same age, Brent. Tail end. Tail okay. End. All right. You never ASL'd somebody, huh? I, I, I'd rather not talk about this. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy, where the bumpies come the from right there. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, anywho, uh, she hangs out with the family. Um, they're all excited about the new boat. S- talking about the boat, um, they sing songs together. When Alice gets back and finds out that Dell is selling the boat, she freaks out. It's like you can't sell the boat. Cat uh, is trying to find a job and uh, gets a job writing at the local paper. Local. Gonna be a newsie. 
And the archives. Uh, and the archives. Don't don't you dare forget about the archives. Uh, Alice uh, time travels again the next day, but somehow it sends her with time passing by uh, two months. So even though she just waited a day, it's now two months when she, you, know, you guys oh, get it. Yeah. So a thousand she, years is a day. Yeah, that's right, that's right. So she ends up going to a party on the beach. She meets a guy. They bond over music. She ends up singing some Britney Spears. Uh, the cops come break up that party, as you do if you're a cop. And uh, Alice goes with the boy. And they end up kissing. Mm. She kisses a 1999 boy. So he's a 40-year-old man well, in present day. <laughs> <laughs> tomato, tomato. Uh, they uh, ASL. They end up uh, kissing. <laughs> they end up kissing. Oh yeah, that's good. That's they, good. I like that. They end up, Sixteen uh, yeah. in nineteen ninety nine. Male. Uh, <laughs> they end up kissing, and she ends up spending the night with her mom, gushing about boys and telling secrets. She tells her mom that she's a time traveler. Her mom laughs at her. Well, you can't say she didn't try. That's Am right. I right? Uh, Kat decides, uh, I'm sorry, Dell decides ultimately not to sell the boat, uh, which is a big excitement for Alice. Um, so Alice uh, comes back and uh, from from uh, time traveling, she uh, Dell sees her coming in from Dude, the woods. Dude, you're getting a Dell. <laughs> It's never not funny. Um, and uh, she sees her coming back from the woods, and she's just like, hmm, that's interesting. Um, and then um, and then Kat finds out that Alice has been lying about where she's going because she keeps saying she's going to go hang out with some friends. She finds out that she did not go to the party that she said that she was going to. So when Alice tells her, hey, I'm going to go hang out with some friends, uh, Kat follows her into the woods, sees Alice jump into the water and not come out, so then she jumps in the water. We don't think she comes back. Oh. The camera goes to an overhead shot overhead of the pond. Shot, fade to black. And that, my friends, was The, the Way, Way Home, home. Season oh 1, Episode 3. three. I, I don't, don't want to miss a thing. We did that, everybody. I feel like you missed a lot with the boat and then the cats and and going and getting a job at the newspaper. I said she got a job (laughs) at the paper. But there was a lot like he's there and he only hires her because of the mom. Uh Uh-huh. I feel like there was a lot. Fine. Fill everybody in on the thing. No, I think we got it. (laughs) Okay, great. We're going to be right back here on Deck the Hallmark. Deck the Hallmark. Hi, everybody. Um, we're back. We are talking about The Way Home, Season 1, Episode 3. We're going to break this down with four segments. We're going to start with the hot take. And I'm going to start with the hottest taker this side of the bumpies, <laughs> our good friend Ryan. Ryan, yeah. what'd you think? Wouldn't he be on the other side of the bumpies? Because he does host it. We don't know. But, but he's not eligible. Okay. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. My location in the ASL is not on the other side. <laughs> okay. Right. Got it. The right, bumpies. Right. Um, I'm going to be curious for your guys' thoughts on the boat plot, but I thought it felt very lived in and a good progression for the show that it wouldn't be too, too reliant on either big twists or big reveals. With that said, the big reveal at the end, uh, I never thought a Hallmark show would make (laughs) me feel the way that I felt at the end of this episode. It was midnight Eastern Standard Time, and I let out a ooh-wee in my apartment. I, I mean, it was... Uh, it was genuinely, I, I don't want to sound too jokey or like, uh, you know, grandiose in this. It was really quite the moment. I, 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 like electric. Like, I mean, I was genuinely excited at the prospect of 20 of present day cat not coming up. Uh, for air in that scenario. Obviously, I want her to live. That would be very important. Um, but, like, I, I would do Or, I mean, also a twist if she doesn't come back. Very um, electric if she drowns. Yeah, would, yeah. Like, well, very... I mean, yeah, it could be a problem in, yeah. in many different ways. Yeah. Um, but the show continues to be thoughtful. It continues to be smart. It's not perfect. Like, I got a bunch of weight what's. Um, but, legitimately... Uh, when you guys asked me to do this four weeks ago, I would not have thought three episodes in to the show that none of us knew was about time travel, <laughs> that I would be losing my mind <laughs> three episodes in. Uh, that moment was incredible, and I thought the episode overall was really good. Man, um, if this episode asked me 
on AOL Instant Messenger, <laughs> my ASL. What does I, that do though? In 1999, I would, I, when you get an ASL back, like, what do you you're like? Oh, you cool. decide you awesome. decide whether or not going to continue to talk to that person. Okay, I would lie and tell this person whatever age they wanted me to be. That's how much I love this oh, episode. Oh dear, we've got was that a weird? weird was that a weird? Path. It's oh, very dear. weird. Let's it scratch it. Scratch it. Reverse it, direction. guys. I love this episode. <laughs> Thank you. I love this show. I am watching this with my buddy Dan, and I'm freaking out on a regular basis. The ending of this episode is pure art, and then this is—I want to speak to the the camera right now. I want to speak to the fine folks if you're listening at, at Hallmark home, Channel, and you feel the need to donate ten dollars <laughs> to save the max. Uh, if, <laughs> Go if to you, BrambleJamPlus.com. <laughs> If you are um, an exec at Hallmark and you're listening to this episode, uh, one, why? But two, please, for the love of God, do not cancel this show. Can you imagine? Can do, you imagine? For the love of all things good and decent. Why would you put it out there? I, the I ju- because I have to. I have to start pleading even, now. I don't even want your I have, ASL I have, I have <laughs> been around this block one too many times. I've seen too many shows come and go. I've seen Winkles a Heart outlast its welcome. Not again. Neon again. Not again. Not again. Don't you do it. The way home, as of right now, <sighs> Give it all the bumpies, give it all the slammies, give it all the deckies. Do whatever you have to do. What a program. What an episode. The ending of this episode was phenomenal. Dan, you you are my witness. Yeah. I was freaking out. He li- this is how you do it, folks. This is how you do it. This is how you television. This is how you this is how you TV. So good. I loved it. Fantastic. I cannot wait for the next episode. It's driving me nuts that this isn't just one of those boys. I, I you know, th- this is a classic example of why I can't do normal TV anymore. Because I, if this was anything else, if I just had all 10 episodes on Philo, which you can watch all these episodes on Philo in real time. But if for some reason they did a big drop on Philo, which would be a uh, man from heaven, I, and I could just watch them back to back to back. I'd be living my best life, but instead I have to wait a week at a time, like I'm back in 1999 asking for people's ASL. Dan? And telling them whatever they want to hear, apparently. (laughs) No, just this show. (laughs) Just this show. Guys, come on. Don't put words in my mouth. The next show we're reviewing is uh, To Catch a Predator, I believe. (laughs) But in the scenario I was giving, I was a kid. (laughs) Oh man! I do realize now that that's it's that was real a weird. Bad. That was no, weird. it's, it's, it's fine. Real bad. It's, you you built up a lot of goodwill with the audience. It's yeah, fine. yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Fine. Uh, um, I yeah. think you're overestimating. I think you did lose next year's bumpy, but we'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> or gained it. <laughs> it's hard to say. So we are watching this episode of television, and it ends. And Bran looks at me and goes, "Boy, that's good TV." Boy, it's like you just did like two or three just fat rails of coke. You were just like, "Oh, that's good. That's good TV. That's good. That's good stuff." And I was like, "Sheesh, calm down. Look, I, I'm not as high on it as you two are, but do I want to watch the next one? You betcha, absolutely." Um, at some point, do I think stringing us along with just another cliffhanger will get old? Yeah, but that's like in two or three seasons. Right now, <laughs> like, I'm here for this, man. Once again, I got a lot of questions. Would love to watch another episode. Um, I don't know if this was as good as last week's, but I think it was pretty darn good, and you get a lot of good character building here. So what's not to like, man? Like, this is the best thing. Hallmark, if you're listening, obviously don't cancel the show, but this is the best thing you're doing right now. This is this is better than any movie you're making. It's definitely better than any other TV show you're making, and it's better than the Golden Girls reruns. It's it's the best whoa, thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You heard me. People are going to it's, riot. It's the oh, best yeah. thing you're doing right now, and I 100% am looking forward to it. In fact, we watching another terrible movie and we knew when we finished it we got to watch the way home it was like our little reward for having to sit through another movie we're like at least we got the way home coming up so kudos to you hallmark another good week another strong showing from the way home another strong showing it's time for all the feels ryan any feels for you um yeah all right. first of all i want to say that i could not be happier that i landed on this gig with you two gentlemen and it's all been no no it's all been great right and i want to it's like and so there's been a lot of high points and hopefully i host way home podcasts and do i'm here on dth for a long time 
But I will never say anything more important than what I'm about to say. Wow. I need this acoustic cover of Hit Me Baby one more time (laughs) in my Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, whatever streaming service, Napster if you're in the 99 universe. I need it right now. I need it right now. I I also can't believe that Hallmark got the rights to Hit Me Baby one more. That's its own discussion. Um, But I I had to look up her name. I, I think that I think Alice in general is the MVP of the show so far. But Sadie, this is her real name, by the way, Sadie LaFlame Snow, which is come on. That's that's a just welcome that, her to the that, stage. That, that a, cover was LaFlame hot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like same hot. I think yeah. we all know when we say LaFlame what we mean. You're doing uh, nothing by adding hot like to that. Red, like red hot, like La- say uh, LaFlame Nikita came in hot with this, and I just thought it was. I just thought it was used to be on after Monday Night Raw. Did you I get that thought, joke at all? No. Okay, I don't think so. LaFlame Nikita was yeah. a movie, then a television show. He said LaFlame Nikita. Of, that was off. Top that was really top. good, Ryan. Better yeah, than yeah, we yeah, deserve. Yeah. Wasn't even on my phone with the notes. Uh, that was, uh, but yeah, I genuinely, uh, Sadie, you have a lovely voice. Uh, if you were on the voice, you would have made it to the second round. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, Blake Shelton would have hit the thing. Uh, I thought genuinely though, I was like, this is a really good cover. And I think it would be, if we have the rights to hit me baby one more time, it would be a mistake to not release this in full, like right now after we release this. Podcast. Yeah. Like, well, I just want to, I just want to, you know, I, if, if we get to talk to Sadie at some point, I do think we will push for this, right? Of course. We will push for this cover yeah. in full to be put out into the universe because it seems wrong that that it's not. Um, again, the ending of this episode. <laughs> the ending of Man, the- that's good TV. <laughs> wow, that's good TV. Man, that's good TV. Here's the, here's the thing, man. This yeah, is, this- yeah. You want to do another one? Let's do another one. <laughs> What's what's amazing about this show, if you're trying to give up cocaine, this show is the perfect the perfect gateway. It's it's the per, it's the perfect uh, substitution. You watch the end of this episode, forget about it, Dan. That was it. <laughs> That's it. Forget about it. You guys get where I'm going with What's it. What's that Ryan uh, Robert De Niro movie? Uh, <laughs> uh, the Intern. That's right. That's what it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, so what I what dawned on me uh, as we realized all the titles were were '90s pop songs, and then we got to hear Britney Spears in this episode was is that I got really excited about hearing all the music from when I was 16 years old again. Like uh, that was like as a 39 year old who was born in 1983. I'm like. Oh, this show now is made almost specifically for me because they're 16 back in time. I was 16. That was really cool for me. And I was like, man, I'm, there's another reason to be excited about this show. It's getting to hear all the hits again. I remember a hit, buddy of hit, mine. You might want to say hit you, baby, one yeah, more time. That's right. Uh, <laughs> a buddy of mine, I was in his Ford Explorer Eddie Bauer edition, and he was like, you got to listen to this new song. I got the single cassette tape. And he says, this chick is our age. And he pops it in and it's Britney Spears, one more baby, one more time. First time I heard this it. This chick is our This age. chick is our age. She's 16 and she's already got a record deal. Can you wow. believe it? Uh, that I remember that uh, very, very distinctively. So there you have there you have it. That's an awesome story. Right? Isn't it cool? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna come back. Sorry I wasn't busy like catfishing on AIM. Guys, to be <laughs> clear, <laughs> I was listening to, to be clear, I wasn't. <laughs> I was being catfished. There's a. I, I want to put. You're that. the one throwing ASL out there and Britney saying Spears whatever. Britney Spears A would have been, Britney Spears A would have been 16, by the way, in that scenario with Dan. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to. That's I, right. No, that's I'd right. be playing pool. You know, you know, making small talk. Am I? Am I about? Because if I'm, I'm, I'm like 11. If I'm beating a 50 year old at pool, you know how awesome that makes me. At pool online, pretty darn awesome. So you want to know their age so, so I, you can determine how good you are at online pool? <laughs> yes, Dad. <laughs> I, I thought that was obvious. It sounds like Grant is playing this to his mother. Yes, I thought, That's right. I thought this was obvious. I thought this was obvious. It really went without explanation. Thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, you're welcome. We're going to be right back here in the <laughs> Oh, 
Welcome back, mess. everybody. What a mess oh. episode three is. So I was laughing that whole commercial break. Woof. Yeah. Um, well, let's get to the wait what. So let's see if there's anything in this episode that made us go wait what. And I'll start with you, Ryan. Uh, 1999, Elliot, is already in the thick, the thick of helping Alice travel between several decades. Yet is bamboozled by the fact that you can talk to people on the internet. That's right. Uh, he, he can't believe it. <laughs> he, he cannot believe. And I and I think the show was trying to do it in a wink, wink way. But at the same time, I was like, I don't know. He seems like he's got a full notebook of how to get Alice from one point in time to another. And then it's like, whoa, someone's asking me my ASL right now. What's even happening? <laughs> like, you know. Uh, it's, so uh, things escalate was, quickly when you're playing pool and aim. Yeah, am I right? Yeah. Uh, 99 Elliot was a shark at pool, by the way. He was, like his 30 for 30 is going to be lit. He sure uh, was. What if I yeah. told you yeah. that <laughs> ASL was just the beginning? <laughs> Elliot corner pocket <laughs> this uh, Sunday on time. ESPN. Yeah. <laughs> um, unless I misunderstood and it's possible I'm I am not a super intelligent person right uh, so Alice makes out I because I love this for a few minutes Alice makes out with one dude one time in 1999 and then she's like I'm staying I'm not, I'm not I'm never going back <laughs> the guys here are cooler yeah. well in, was, in her defense she po is possible that she kissed and realized the ramifications the potential ramifications of her act that's right and said I think it might Sticking just be safer around. yeah safer to stay here yeah and that might be true and i genuinely i'm writing in my notes i'm like oh this is awesome this is absolutely what a teenager would do yes. if she was time traveling and she's like i'm just gonna stay in 99 i found love why would i go back but then and, and it's, maybe i missed something she just went back like after the sleepover scene with her mom yeah like like she she's like elliot i'm staying and then she just jogs on home back to andy mcdowell and so unless i missed something that kind i thought that i was, think she said was she was first... staying for the evening yeah okay. she was so having like, so much fun the, she didn't want the night to the end. timer beeped and the guy elliot's like you need to get back but she's like no i'm staying because have you seen dude with a guitar <laughs> who can't play at all yeah, yeah who can't no, yeah. no no all right fair enough fair enough uh, that, that was the first time where i thought maybe but again that could be on me um, I, I like that uh, the only place to get alcohol in this town is at a egg, poultry, and coffee shop. That, Classic. Uh, that 2023 modern day uh, cat was just like, well, where else would I possibly get alcohol other than this dayside cafe? Uh, they're re and, they're recreating the 1920s in the 2020s in this show. It's prohibition in Canada, and they're just like it's a speakeasy coffee shop. Ryan. Yeah, come on, keep it, up. It's the only logical explanation. Again, yeah, that one could be on me. Uh, and then lastly, if you didn't know, Cat, she's an award winning journalist. Uh, if, you, if you weren't aware, <laughs> uh, which by the fifth or sixth time they were playing it for a joke, but the first two times they just really. Really, it was like with the archives last week. They just really wanted you to know <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah. Kat, she can write. This Point. is the newspaper and archives, <laughs> yeah. and we only hire. Oh, you're award winning. Yeah, interesting. She says that she doesn't like saying it, but I'm starting to think she does. Yeah, I well, think. Then, <laughs> sorry, yeah. she might like it. And then one last thing on that. Apparently, she gave this the the archives guy the whole elevator pitch on why she should work there. And forgot to give him her name at the yeah. very beginning. She's yeah. like, "Oh, by the way, I'm uh, I'm Andy McDowell's kid. I, maybe I didn't mention that. Like, so uh, yeah, she could she could flesh that out. That guy week. knows something. Yeah. He knows yeah. something. Wait for my sink or swim. Oh wow, it's actually that's what it is. <laughs> uh, I got a couple. I love that the cops in this small town in 1999 have nothing better to do but to break up soda party. Soda party. Soda party bonfires. <laughs> All these kids are out there with orange soda and Sprite, and the cops are like, yeah, over, yeah. over my dead body. Is that a sun kiss? Is that, <laughs> you want to see a sun kiss down there? Is that a Swepps ginger ale? Son, put the Swepps down. What is happening? There's a bonfire with sun kiss and Schweppes ginger ale, and they are breaking it up like it is like a just a kegger. There's an area of PBR to be found. No, not a keg. Nothing. 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 Just a couple of orange sodas. <laughs> um, every all the kids run. Yeah, they're like, no scatter like orange sodas against the law. Yeah. Ugh. What are they gonna do if they catch him? <laughs> Talk about Kel Mitchell. Yeah. No, you got a right. you got a permit for that? I love orange Welcome soda. To Good Burger. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then I just want to give a shout out to the guy, uh, that she, uh, kisses in this, 
uh, episode for, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and give it a bumpy for the most inefficient way to take off a jacket. <laughs> the, the guy had a he jacket. Goes straight over the top. It wasn't zipped. It wasn't buttoned. It was open, and he decides to take it off like it's a sweatshirt or a shirt or whatever. Yeah. Over the top. It's a move, man. It's a move, um, and it's an award-winning move, I will say that. Dan? Um, can I introduce you to the worst two people on the planet where oh, wow. they hear in town that someone they know may be selling a boat. So they, they go on to, their, to this woman's property before 8 a.m. to inquire about said boat that has not been listed for sale, nor does it have a for sale sign on it. Can you imagine being awakened by people saying, I hear you may sell your boat? That's, those are the worst people, Right. The worst. The worst. The absolute worst. Um, yeah, I would never uh, do that. Yeah, you would never. Cat uh, is uh, is uh, asking about stuff, and then she's like, maybe she's on drugs. Wait a minute. There aren't drugs here now, are there? Cat, I guarantee you there are drugs in the town. <laughs> like I, gar- I There are teenagers everywhere. I guarantee you someone has drugs somewhere. I've got bad news for you. Um, sorry. Only at the coffee shop. Yeah, that's right. And <laughs> speaking of drugs, you're at the coffee shop asking for a hit of something stronger at 8 in the morning, Cat. This triple shot isn't doing it. Do you have a little, a little, a little something something that I could get in the morning here to get myself to noon? And then the woman who runs the place responds, I used to need alcohol on tough days too. It's 8 in the morning, people. <laughs> Could we at least just make it a half a day? Could we, like, I'm not a prude, but, like, if we've got to start our day with alcohol, that's probably the first clue you have a problem. I, 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 like, that is not okay to be like, I get it. I get it, Kat. It used to be me, too. I used to need straight whiskey at 8 in the morning. Haven't we all been through that time in our lives? I I guess. I, I guess we have. That's all I got. Uh, it's time for sink or swim, the part of the show. Ryan, what are you? Sorry, what are you sinking or swimming? Uh, I have one sink and two swims. I'll be quick. My sink, it's definitive. I am a unabashedly huge diehard Power Rangers fan, and I don't appreciate 1999 Elliot poking fun at them. Yeah, uh, like you know, we all uh, did. Yeah, Ryan. can't can't yeah. play guitar. Guy has yeah. Power Rangers. First of all, like who can like mate, mate, like who, who cares? Like you know, I, I, Elliot was a, Elliot was a swim until this week for me, and now it's going to take a lot for him to win me back over. I didn't I didn't appreciate it. I didn't like it, uh, and it's going to take some time yeah. uh, to move to the swims portion. Though uh, I love uh, I love that this massive moment in the show's history so far. Cat going in after Alice as they both dive in is narrated by uh, a dialogue, a monologue about a giant cucumber. I love it. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I, love it. I, I, I couldn't Good believe stuff. the show was doing it. And I said, I, I, I think that this is art. Like I give it, give it everything. It's like the, the fact that they had the gall uh, to do that in the best way possible. I love it. Uh, and then last week, speak, speaking of gall, uh, Andy, Alice is the MVP of this show, but let's let Andy McDowell Gosh. cook with lines like the boat is cleaned up. No, thanks to either of you or straight to cat's face. You know, you could try looking for a job. Uh, <laughs> she's just, uh, Andy McDowell is great. Uh, I think there's more to come with her, but at any time yeah. she's on screen, she pops and, uh, the, the idiosyncrasies of what she's doing are excellent. I loved it all. Um, I am going to swim, uh, over to guitar guy. Yeah. I can't help but wonder what he's up to these days. And if, if he ever got better at music, like the fact that this guy shows up to a party with the guitar in hand as if he was good and then proceeds to be very bad yeah, was funny, terrible. but bad I, with I, a capo, I, I saw them live. bad with a capo. Oh my gosh. Almost always. <laughs> um, the fact that he did that was great. I have to admit, but it shows that he is, that he has heart. He clear, cares about music. So are we going to get to see him again? I, we have to, right? Like yeah. you can't kiss a guy back in 1999 and not see him again. Yeah. But is he still going to be a musician or did he come to terms with the it fact that they're it's not, not in his case? Not showing him again. Oh my, no, they have to. They have New to. New Hallmark. They have to. Dan? Uh, my sink is 
they established a rule of time travel in this show that is any time you spend in the past is the same amount of time in the present. And they established that in week two and in week three, they, they kind of sort of, they don't break it, but they basically say that's true. Anytime you spend in the past, it's that amount of time in the present, but that's not true if you reverse it. So the amount of time you spend in the present is not equal to how much time is going by in the past. And so while that is small, my concern for this show, my chief concern of this show is, is that they'll just continue to make up different rules to suit the Hallmark moments. And they've not done that yet. And I've been very proud of them, but I'm, that made me a little bit concerned, but not enough to let it bother me just yet my swim is is that this archives guy is someone or knows something like he's either from the the past or ran into alice in the past and i'm very fascinated about what that's about i still think andy mcdowell has gone back in time at some point in her life or is from back in time i don't know what that is exactly but i'm fascinated by that as well that's my swim uh we did everybody congratulations it's time for we're doing this every week huh oh, no. Take it, uh, take it to the mat. Hey, 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 what is going on here? It's not the name of the segment. What's the name of the segment? I, I believe it's, I believe it's wrestle them to the ground. Wrestle okay. them to the ground. Hey, 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 what is going on here? Ryan, what do you got, buddy? And this concludes this week's segment of Wrestle Them to the oh, Ground. Oh, no, you I stop mean, it. <laughs> no, uh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, Royal Rumble was incredible. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Cody Rhodes, Rhea Ripley won the men and women's Royal Rumbles, respectively. Uh, the bloodline is fractured. If you're not oh, no. uh, in on the road oh, to WrestleMania no. right now, you should be. The bloodline's uh, fractured? And, and, yeah, yeah, and, yeah and, and now it's time for me to uh, sing somebody's theme song, I think, probably. The Blue Meanie. Uh, you're going to need to be on Philo because it, it was really more just what he did this thing a lot. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, 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 he, yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah. He did, yeah. The, he did the hand, he raised the roof, but like with more rhythm. Yeah, you know? with more rhythm. Yeah. Got it. Man, you, you you did that Philo uh, ad real good there. That was perfect. That was a perfect sales pitch for Philo. Philo TV slash DTH to see Ryan, Ryan do, raise the roof, do the but blue with more meanie. Rhythm. That's exactly yeah. And regardless of your ASL, we're happy you tuned in this week. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. Oh my gosh. What a fun time it was, everybody. And the fun times are going to keep coming for one more week, and then we're off for a week on the way home, unfortunately. <laughs> Super Bowl Sunday ruins yeah. everything. Yeah, it does. I would have I would have liked to see this wow. go head to head. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were said instead of the Super Bowl, which would have been a bold um, statement to make. You're not going to do that. Just no, 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 no. Yeah. You got, a, right, yeah. You got what could be a good game. You got Rihanna. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I understand. Yeah. I'm not, I mean, I'm not a monster. Yeah, of course. Uh, we are going to be back next Wednesday with another one of these. We'll be back tomorrow with another uh, Wink Calls to Heart. Mm -hmm. So from this to that. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. <laughs> but Jack is back. We love Jack. Yep. Uh, until then, maybe the first to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Yes. Deck the Hallmarks of Bramble Jam podcast is produced by Aaron Shea. What? For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. For more information on the Deck the Hallmark family, you can go to bramblejamplus.com. Deck the Hallmark is presented by Philo TV. For a free trial of Philo, go to philo.tv slash DTH. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here in the old studio. Thanks for listening or don't listen. It's really up to you at this point. It's at the end of the show. I mean, you're listening to me. Hi. But here they come. I promise they're coming. Yep. Here they are. Happy day.